Okay, we had uh, looked at algorithms for sorting, um, especially quick sort. The way a uh, quick sort worked was uh, you uh, picked the pivot, okay, and compared each element in the array with the pivot and uh, split the array into two parts. Those elements which were less than the pivot and elements which were greater than the pivot. And then you recursed on these two parts, okay. And you recursed on these two parts and uh, recursively sorted them. And uh, this then gave you the sorted order for the entire array, okay. The time taken by quick sort crucially depends on the position of the pivot in the array, okay. We would like to pick an element which is the middle of the array, okay, which is called the median. So, if we could always pick the median fast, then perhaps we can make quick sort work in n log n time. And that is our goal, okay. That is the next goal to see if we can um, pick, we can given an array, we can find the median in time linear in the size of the array, okay. Okay. So, let me make a few, de few definitions just to uh, set the ball rolling. Okay. Uh, the rank of an element, so the rank of an element is its position in the sorted array. Okay. So, given an array and an element to find the rank of this element, sort the array and uh, the position of this element in the array is its rank. Okay. We will assume for simplicity that uh, elements in the array are distinct, every element is distinct. Um, all algorithms that we will design will also work when the ele elements are not distinct, but this is just for simplicity. Okay, so this is the rank and the rank of an element and the median is an element of rank um, n by 2, it is a floor of n by 2, okay, an element of rank floor of n by 2. Okay, our objective is to find the median in an array okay, and how fast can we do this. So, the problem is this, the input is an array A, and the output is a median. Now, clearly this can be done in order n log n time by just sorting the array and picking the middle element, right. You sort the array, pick the middle element that gives you the median. and sorting takes n log n time. Our objective of course, is to do this faster. We want to um, find the median faster. Right? Okay, how does, how does one go about doing this? Let, can we apply divide and conquer for instance? Um, supposing we want to apply divide and conquer, how would we like to divide the array? How do you divide the array? Um, again, it seems sort of uh, you think about this and you you are up against the wall. Okay. Um, yeah. So supposing, okay, somehow you can find uh, uh, let's say not the exact uh, median, but some kind of approximate median. What do I mean by an approximate median? Uh, let us say an element whose rank is greater than n by 4 and so rank of x and it is uh, it's greater than n by 4, let us say greater than or equal to n by 4, less than or equal to 3 n by 4, n is the size of the array. So, these elements I will call approximate medians. 
okay they are not quite the middle element but they roughly sit around the middle element uh, supposing you could find supposing somebody gives you an approximate medium okay then uh, what can you do i mean can does this help well it may help i mean in the following sense that uh, so here is my array okay i take the array this is my array a okay x is an approximate medium let's not lose focus of our goal which is to find the exact medium okay x is an approximate median and well you just come to know of it somehow okay what you could do is this you split the array as less than x and greater than x okay so here here are elements less than x here are elements greater than x so this is less than x this is greater than x okay once you do this you uh, you know where the median falls right if this is less than n by 2 if the rank of x is less than n by 2 then the median falls on the right okay it sits in this portion of the array on the other hand if the rank of x is greater than n by 2 okay then the median falls in the left portion of the array you know where it which portion of the array it sits okay so the other good thing about this partitioning is that uh, see both these parts have size at least n by 4 the, the elements which are less than x has size at least n by 4 the elements greater than x have size at least n by 4 okay so if you can get rid of one part let's say the smaller part right then the bigger part is of size at most 3n by 4 okay so you have you have shrunk the uh, size of the array by a constant factor okay does this uh, is the does this help uh, actually it does supposing i can find this approximate median in let's say linear time somehow okay we don't know how that's done so let's see how much time uh uh finding the exact median will take okay so what we would like to do is this we have an array of size n so let's say the time is tn okay we find the approximate median which takes n time and then we would like to recurse on a small part okay that part has size 3n by 4 well there's still a problem which we need to address but supposing you can do this okay then you check that this recurrence gives you order n okay you can just open out a few terms here and uh, you can prove that this in fact is order n okay uh there is a problem the problem is this okay i want to find the median in the big array right i somehow get this approximate median in linear time this this we still don't know how this is done okay i know that the median is here somewhere okay this is the element i want to find okay the element could sit here not exactly in the middle so what i want to find in this array is not exactly the median okay the the element that i want to find depends the the rank of the element i want to find depends on the left side of the array okay so what i want to find let's say that the uh, numbers so let's call these two things um, let's say a left and a right okay let's assume that uh, the size of a left is less than n by 2 okay floor of n by 2 we'll assume this without loss of generality okay now what i want is the median of the entire array okay what is its rank in in a, in ar okay so it is the element that, that i want what is the rank in in ar okay. uh supposing that rank is r what i want is r plus 1 plus size of al should be equal to n by 2 okay 
in other words I want R to be n by 2 minus size of AL minus 1. So, R is the rank of the median of A in AR. Okay. The small r is the rank okay, of the median of A in this array A r. Okay. Uh, let me draw a picture and sort of explain this again. Okay, this is A. Okay. Supposing this is sorted, here is my middle element. Okay. This is n by 2. Now, my element x sits somewhere here. Okay, this is this is the element x which is the approximate median and this portion is is a l. Okay. This portion is a r. I mean the size is a l, this portion is a r. Now, the rank of the median is just the rank is the number of elements in this portion. Okay, what is that? n by 2 minus a l plus 1. Okay, so, it is nothing but n by 2 minus size of a l minus 1. So, the rank of this element okay, which is the median, this is the median that we want to find. Okay, so, this is the median in a. The rank of this element in a r is this. Okay. So, the problem when we recurse, we do not really want the median in A. We are not looking for the median. We are looking for an element of rank this. Okay. We are looking for an element of rank n by 2 minus A l minus 1 and this need not be the middle element in A r. This is the first problem. So, when we recurse, we, we do not really want the I mean, it is not just the uh, median, but we want an element of some particular rank. Well, why not look for a procedure to find an element of any rank? Okay. Uh, so, pay careful attention here. This is a very sort of important design principle. We started off with trying to find a median, we tried to find a recursive procedure. Along the way, we have encountered a problem where we actually want to find an element of some other rank, not just rank n by 2, but some other rank. So, this seems to be a more general problem. Okay. Finding the median is a special case of this problem. Sometimes, it is easier to solve a more general problem than a specific problem and in this case, that is what we will do. So, the problem we would like to tackle is not just finding the median, but finding the element of any rank. Okay. So, the input, let me write this problem down. So, input is array A and R. The output is an element of rank R in A. Now, when R is n by 2, we get the median. So, this is a more general problem than the one we started out with. right? And this is what now we would like to solve. The reason this problem came up is that during the recursion, I mean at least the recursion that we tried, we started out with the median, but when, he, when we try and get the recursion going, the problem we end up with is this. Okay. So, this is the problem we will try and solve. Okay. Now, you see that there is no problem with, with the recursion at least. Okay. So, if I solve, if I find an array A, I start with an array A. Supposing this is still a step which is left undone, I get x which is an approximate median. Okay. I split the array into two parts, A L and A R and x. Okay. I want to find an element of rank r. If r is less than the size of al, I recurse on al. If r is greater than size of al plus x, I recurse on ar. 
okay that is it that is the algorithm. So, as long as I can find the approximate median I can find an element of uh, any rank okay by this divide and conquer scheme. Uh, you can write down the recurrence relation and see that if you can find this approximate median in linear time then you can find an, el uh, an element of any rank in linear time okay. So, how do we find the approximate median okay this is uh, this is what this is seems to be as difficult as finding the exact median or median of any rank okay. yeah. So, it is and uh, the solution that I am going to present okay now is uh, is really smart okay. So, the way you find the approximate median is this first take the array A okay. So, unfortunately I cannot tell you exactly how people came up with this I am just going to present the solution to you okay. <coughs> Sometimes you just have to be really clever and come up with a solution there is no real recipe for finding algorithms all the time okay. There are a few general recipes that one follows, but often you know these things are so problem dependent that you just have to think about it think about it and at some point you know some light bulb goes off somewhere and uh, you know you come up with the algorithm that works. So, here is the algorithm that works. So, take the array A split up the elements in the following form. So, so here is A I split the elements into groups of 5. So, these are 5 elements okay. These are the first 5 elements the next 5 elements and so on and I have n by 5 groups I have n by 5 groups in A and each of them has 5 elements. Now, find the median of these 5 elements okay. This will give me some median y 1, this will give me some median y 2 and the last one give will give me some median y n by 5 okay. These are medians of the groups okay there are n by 5 groups each of each consisting of 5 elements and this is the median of these groups okay. Now, the approximate median which will pull out is the exact median of these n by 5 elements okay. The approximate median that will output exact median of these n by 5 elements. So, let me repeat this again you split them into groups of split them into groups of 5 there are n by 5 groups. Okay. For each group you find the, the median okay, y 1, y 2 up to y n by 5 okay. each group you find the median. Now, you find the exact median of these n by 5 elements and this is an approximate median. Okay. There are number of questions okay. uh, why should this be an approximate median that is the first question. Second question we started off trying to find the exact median we ended up with trying to find the approximate median and we are again finding the exact median right. To find the approximate median we find these y 1 through y n by 5 and again we are finding the exact median what what is going on. Well the second thing is not so serious in the sense that initially we started out trying to find the median of n elements we are now finding the exact median on n by 5 elements okay. So, the size has reduced and we can apply it in uh, we can uh, recurse on this smaller size. Remember I said if you can find solve the problem for a smaller size you know you can put the solution back back up right. So, the exact median that we want to find among these n by 5 elements we just do it by recursion 
okay, we just recurse and find the exact median here and that gives you uh, what we want. Okay. We said we want to find an element of any rank, this is, this is what we want to do. If somehow we can find the approximate median we are done. To find the approximate median, we have to solve an exact median problem on an input of smaller size. And this can also be done by recursion. Okay. <coughs> I have to still convince you that uh, the exact median of these n by 5 elements will be an approximate median. Okay, let us see why this is. Okay, to see this, let me arrange these 5 elements in each group in uh, descending order. Okay, so, uh, smallest element uh, will be at the bottom say A11, then the next element A12, then A13, A14, A15. Okay. So, all of these I will, uh, all of these small groups, let me first write them down uh, in, in, in uh, increasing order upwards or decreasing order downwards. The next thing I am going to do is look at these middle elements, A, you know the, the medians of these groups and I will write them okay, in sorted order towards the right. Okay. So, A13 will be the smallest element among these medians. Okay. So, A13 is less than A23 less than A33 so on and A n by 5 3. Okay. So, this is also part of a group okay, which I have written in, in this order. Um, this is uh, A22, okay. this is A21, A24, A25 and similarly here. Uh, a n by 5 2, n by 5 1, okay, a n by 5 4 and uh, a n by 5 5. Okay. So, the entire array uh, I have written out this way. Well, the last row may not be uh, one of these rows may not may not have uh, all 5 elements okay but if the size of the array is divisible by 5 all all of these columns will have sorry all of these columns will have 5 elements okay so let me again ex explain this picture you first uh, you first split each of them okay into 5 parts there are n by 5 groups okay now you sort you sort them in uh, increasing order. Okay. Look at the middle elements, okay. sort the middle elements in increasing order, lay them out and lay out the entire array in this fashion. Okay. So, A13 is the smallest element among the middle elements. Okay. It comes in some group, okay. it may be the 20th group or the 15th group or whatever. Okay. Whatever it is, I will call it A13. Okay. So, the first group here I get by taking that part of the array where the middle element was the smallest. When I look at the middle elements, this has to be the smallest. Okay. So, then comes the second group and then the third group and so on and this is the last. So, I have just arranged the elements of the array this way. Now, what is the median of this, this portion? Remember that we said that the median of this portion is is an approximate median. Okay. Median of this middle portion is what we claim to be an approximate median. So, what is this middle, uh, what is this? So, it sits somewhere in the middle here. right? So, it is uh, the way we have written this, it is a n by 10 3. Okay. That is the element which is uh, the median of this, this portion. Okay. Now, how many elements are smaller than this median? Okay. Where do you find elements in the array which are smaller than this median? Well, 
if you look at this middle row right everything to the left here is smaller right also everything down here is also smaller which means this entire portion consists of elements which are smaller these are smaller elements okay similarly if you look to the right these are all larger elements and also if i go right and up i also get larger elements this is also larger than this right so this portion again consists of larger elements okay this portion consists of larger elements this portion consists of smaller elements and you can see that uh, each of these this portion is at least one fourth in fact it's greater for our purposes this is at least one fourth of the entire array this portion is at least one fourth of the entire array good that is the reason this is an approximate median ok. We have just shown that at least n by 4 elements in the array are smaller than this at least n by 4 elements are larger than this that is why this is an approximate median and once we have the approximate median well we know what to do next right. We take this approximate median and recurse on these two parts and uh, I have well in a sort of vague disjoint way I have given you all the ideas needed to design this algorithm to find a median ok. Let us just put all of this together ok. Let us just write down each step put all these steps together stare at it and then see if you can analyze it and see what the running time is ok good. So, ok I will not be uh, giving you code but I will write down each step carefully ok. So, here goes uh, I want to find an element of rank r in an, L in an array a ok. So, let us call this find rank find element ok um, let us say r a ok this finds an element of rank r in array a ok. Now, what do we do? Well, the first thing is to somehow get this approximate median ok. So, for that well the first step is this. Um, so, partition array partition a into n by 5 groups of size 5 ok. Find the median of each group ok. Now, I want to recurse right I want to find uh, the median of these medians ok. There are n by 5 groups. So, there are n by 5 elements ok. So, uh, <coughs> each group and put them in an array put them in array b say ok. Array b has size n by 5 ok. Now, I want to find element essentially I want to find the median in this array ok. So, find element of rank n by 10 ok in the array b ok. Uh, this is again recursion. So, this portion finds the approximate median ok. This well this should return an element right. Uh, so, call this x. So, this returns so, this returns x ok. This element x is returned by this call 
and this x is the approximate median that we want. Okay, now what do we do? Well, we use this is something we have done before. We use x partition array into two parts and then recurse on the right part. Okay, that's it. So partition A into A L and A R. Okay, so elements in elements in A N are less than x, elements in A R are greater than x. Okay, that is how you get A L and A R. Okay, now uh, let us see. So, now we are left with uh, with cases. Okay, depending on what the rank of x is, we have to either recurse on A L or A R. Okay. So, there are three cases. Uh, the first case is if x luckily happens to be the element we are looking for. Okay. So, when does that happen? So, if size of A L is let us say n by 2 minus 1, then return x, x is the median that we are looking for. Okay. Now, if uh, Oh, I'm sorry. So size of A L should be uh, R minus one. Okay, we are looking for an element of rank R. Yeah. So yeah, the, uh, if you go back here, what we want to find is an element of rank R in in A, not just the median, right? Okay. So if the size if size of A L is R minus one, then rank of X is nothing but R. Okay, so, x is the element of rank R and we return x. So, if size of A L okay, is greater than R minus 1, okay, then we know that this element of rank R sits in array A L. Right? The element of rank R sits in array A L. So, we recurse on A L. So, we say find element ok. So, we want still to find an element of rank R and we now recurse on A L ok. An element of rank R in A L will also be an element of rank R in A ok. That is easy to see ok. And uh, the last case is when size of A L is small. Okay, the last case is size of A L is uh, smaller than R minus 1. Okay. Then we need to find an element of rank. Uh, yeah, so, here is a let us quickly draw a picture to find this out. So, here is x, okay, this is A L and I know that R is somewhere here, this is what I want. Okay. Now, this is R, okay. this there are R elements here, there are size of A L elements here, and one element here. So, the rank of this element in this portion of the array is nothing but this distance. Okay, that is nothing but R minus size of A L minus one. Okay, this entire distance is R. This distance is size of A L, and X is just one element. Okay, so we want to find now an element. So find element. The rank is R minus size of A L minus one, and we want to do this in A R. Okay, this portion of the array, that portion of the array is A R. Okay, that is it, that ends the uh, description of the algorithm. So, let us look at this 
algorithm again okay uh, we want to find an element of rank r in array a okay partition a into n phi n by phi groups of size 5 okay find the median of each group now find the median of these medians okay this returns an element x which will be an approximate median and we are now going to partition with respect to x okay so partition a into al and ar with respect to x these are elements smaller than x and those larger than x and now we are going to recurse on one of these two parts okay that depends on the rank of this element x okay the rank of this element x is nothing but size of al plus 1 right so if the rank of element x is r exactly r then we return x as the answer okay if the rank of element is uh, x is larger than r okay that means the element we are looking for is on the left half of the array so we just find an element of rank r in the left half of the array if this doesn't work well the element that we are looking for lies on the right half of the array and uh, well this is what we do if the rank is less than r minus 1 then we find an element of rank r minus al minus 1 in the right half of the array this is it this is the entire uh, procedure um, how do we analyze this okay we have to analyze this procedure uh, okay so we've seen uh, reasons why this uh, this procedure works why this we expect that uh, this procedure should um, should run in linear time okay our expectation is that this this procedure runs in linear time and uh, we'll see why this procedure actually works in linear time okay so to once so the once you have designed an algorithm how do you analyze see the easiest way to do it is write down the algorithm okay write down perhaps code for the algorithm look at each step and figure out how many times each step is executed okay now the step could be a recurs recursive step so here is let's say the you have written an algorithm okay for some problem okay there are there are many steps one of them could be recursive okay so this is an algorithm call it a so you recurse on a with smaller input okay and then there is a loop maybe and there are steps inside the loop okay this is a, this is your normal structure of a program to analyze this i need to you need to find out how many times is each step executed okay those outside a loop are executed once that's fine for the recursive call you need to estimate the size of this input okay uh, so for instance if initially the input size were n and this is uh, let us say n by 10 okay this could be n by 10 and now you have these things in a loop let us say and you have to find out how many times each of them is executed okay now supposing there are there are uh, you know five of them five steps here and each is executed n times okay then the total time that you will take tn is well tn by 10 that comes from the recursive step and these totally the total time is five times n there are five steps each takes n time right each of them is executed n times and that that gives you phi n so we are going to do something similar to uh, to our algorithm right for for the median let's look at these uh, each of these steps and we'll see how much time each of them takes okay so t of n is the time taken on an array of size n so we are going to write a recurrence for t of n okay so let's look at the first slide okay 
partition A into n by 5 groups of size 5. How much time does this take? Nothing. Okay, this partition is easily done. Find the median of each group. How much time does this take? Well, each of those 5 elements, each of those n by 5 groups, I could even sort. Okay, that will take, let us say, 25, uh, 25 sort of comparisons for each group. I mean, even if I do bubble sort and uh, there are n by 5 such groups, so it is some constant times n, right. So, this step finding the median of each group takes constant times n for the entire array. So, let me write this down. So, this is the first first step to the cost, okay, C1 um, times n, okay. This is to find the median of these groups of each group. There are n by 5 groups, for each of them I spend some constant time, right, and that gives me a total of C1 times n. Okay, what about this? What about this step? Well, I recurs on something of size n by 10. Okay. So, uh, oh sorry, I recurs on B. Okay, this is the rank I want to find. I recurs on B, and B has size n by 5, right? So, I recurs on a problem of size n by 5. So that is T n by 5, okay, plus, okay. Now, okay, uh, we get here, we partition this into two parts. So, how much time does this take? This takes n time because each element is compared with x, good. So, this takes an additional n. Okay, this is to partition this array into two parts once we find this x, good. Okay, after we do this partitioning, now we recurs, well if we are in this case we are done, we return. If you are in this case or we, if you are in the next case, we recurs on a smaller part of the array, right. So, we recurs on either A L or we recurs on A R, depending on where this uh, uh, what was the rank, what was R and what was the rank of x, we either recurs on A L or we recurs on A R. Now, we know, so this is the last step, okay. So, that is what I need to write. So, this uh, T of something, this is the recurrence. So, what do I put here? Well, uh, both A L and A R, notice the size of A L I know is at least n by 4, right. Size of AR I know is at least n by 4. Now, this implies that size of AL is less than or equal to 3 n by 4. Why is this? This is because size of AR is at least n by 4. So, size of AL is at most 3 n by 4. Similarly, size of AR is at most 3 n by 4, right. So, whichever side I recurs, the size, the maximum size it can be is 3 n by 4, okay. So, I can put 3 n by 4 and I put less than equal to. What I put here, the size can only be less than or equal to 3 n by 4. So, the maximum size an array can have when I do this recursion is 3 n by 4. So, the recurrence equation I get is this, T n is less than equal to C 1 n, this is to find the median of those 5 of these groups, n by 5 groups. Here is a recurrence, recursion to find the exact median, okay. This is the time for partitioning and this is the last recursion. We recurs either on A L or A R and the maximum size of A L and A R is 3 n by 4, okay. So, this is the recurrence, okay. So, uh, so T n is less than or equal to uh, let us say C 1 plus 1 n plus T of n by 5 plus T of 3 n by 4. Good. So, what is the solution to this recurrence? That is what we want to see. Okay. 
Okay, so here is something I want to sort of share with you. So look at the recurrence. Okay, look at where we recurs. One is a problem of size n by five. Okay, this is a problem of size n by five. The other is a problem of size three n by four. Now the sum of these two is less than n. Okay, n by five plus three n by four is strictly less than n. Good. In such cases, usually you will end up with something which is linear. Okay, so let's try and prove this. So we know, and uh, in such cases, instead of writing down this recurrence the way we've been doing, there's an easier way to do this. Okay, so I'll assume that T n is less than or equal to C n. I want to prove this. Want to prove. Right, so I want to prove this. So let's just substitute this into the previous equation and see what what we get. So I get T n. Okay, so let me just do this on a new sheet. I know this T n is less than or equal to C one plus one n plus T n by five plus T three n by four, and I want T n is less than or equal to C n. I want to find a right constant here C. Okay, so let's just plug this into the into the original thing. I get T n is less than or equal to C one plus one n plus well C n by five. Okay, by plugging in C n plus three by four times um, C n. Now, if this is less than or equal to C n, if I can find C so that this is less than or equal to C n, then we are done. If this is true, we are done. Okay, because we can actually prove this by induction. Um, even if you don't understand why we are done at this point. Uh, we would like to find a c which satisfies this okay so let us let us find that so we want c1 plus 1 um, n plus this plus this less than or equal to cn so n cancels from these so i want c1 plus 1 less than or equal to c minus c by 5 minus 3c by 4 okay okay so we want c plus C one plus one at most C minus C by five minus three C by four, so this will imply the previous statement. Okay, and uh, just simplifying this, this is nothing but C by twenty. Okay, C times one by twenty. So as long as C is uh, at least twenty times C one plus one, we are done. So if C is greater than or equal to Twenty times C one plus one, we see that this quantity is less than or equal to C n. Okay, so we can choose C to be twenty C one plus one. Good. So now it looks like uh, T n is less than or equal to twenty times C one plus one times n. Right. So this is a constant. This is a constant C. Uh, this now we can prove by induction on n. Okay, uh, that T n is less than or equal to this C times n. We can prove now by induction on n. Uh, for n equals two, it is true because uh, you make just one comparison. And for the inductive step, okay, for the inductive step, we just observe that T n by the recurrence is at most C one plus one n plus. Uh, T n by five plus three, three n by four, and now I can uh, I can use induction. Okay, so T n by five is at most C n by five, and this is at most this much. And the way we have chosen C, uh, this sum is at most C n. Okay, so the proof now follows by induction. Uh, in fact, initially we guessed that T n is at most C times n, and the plan. Was to use induction. Okay, somehow 
uh, use induction and prove this and you just follow your nose with the induction substitute C and find out what is the what is the C that helps you finish the inductive proof okay. So, this is the other way of solving recurrence relation uh, if you can guess the answer somehow then uh, you know you know that you want to prove this by induction. So, try proving it by induction and uh, come up with the right right constants okay and then you can uh, once you found it once you plug it in and find out what uh, and uh, figure out what constants to use then you can uh, write the whole thing by induction okay. So, this proves that uh, the time taken by our algorithm is in fact linear in n. So, you can find the median in time which is linear in in, in the size of the array. Uh, if you use this mid use this algorithm with quicksort then the worst case time for quicksort would be n log n, but that is if you pick the pivot as a median each time okay. Uh, the normal way you do it of course it, it turns out to be uh, order n squares. 